This is the human brain. By monitoring its activity, we aim to find out if the visceral experience of flying in a fighter jet could ever be matched by a Porsche. Our volunteer test subject is Jeroen. I'm quite excited, but I'm getting a little bit nervous. Our pilot is Jörg Fieber. We are starting easy 2G turn, then we have about 4Gs. Then we do a very, very steep turn, and then we have six or even more. So will that pass out, or...? If I go a touch further, you will. Jeroen will be fitted with an EEG monitor to measure his brain activity. The data will be analysed by Dr. Robert van der Linden. Basically, we're going to measure how stimulated Jeroen's brain is. We're going to look at an area of the brain that releases a hormone called dopamine. Now for the first time we see lots of activity in the visual and prefrontal cortex. We see the nucleus accumbens light up due to the release of a huge amount of dopamine. It was really, I, I, can hardly, I can hardly describe, you should try it yourself. Now that we know the effects of the fighter jets on the brain, it's time to find out, can driving a Porsche compare? <laughs> Start is very similar to the takeoff in the jet. Look at the results. This is Jeroen's brain activity in the Porsche, and here is his brain activity collected in the fighter jet. As we can see, the dopamine levels are higher in the jet. However, overall there are clear similarities. For example, in both images, we can see the excitement centers lighting up. Based on the results, taking a hard left in a Porsche is actually comparable to taking a hard left in a fighter jet.